these are the five books that helped me change internally and by changing internally my life has changed i'm fitter now i'm smarter now i'm happier now i'm more content now i feel like i am who i want to be and that's what i mean by greatness so these are the five books that can get you great i'm going to be starting from five to one one is the most impactful so make sure you stay for the whole video and subscribe number five thinking grow rich you may have heard about this book already this is one of the most popular books it was written so long ago and this book helped me not in terms of just getting rich but it helped me with a few things having faith stopping being indecisive and imagination faith is the number one step we must have before we embark on any mission we must believe we can do it indecisiveness is actually one of the biggest reasons people don't succeed 25,000 men and women were asked why they failed and why they never achieved your goals and indecisiveness was their biggest cause this book is the reason i decided to start nothing to the grave this book is the reason i imagine what nothing to the grave is and this is the book that helps me have faith in the process that nothing to the grave will impact people and will help people number four on my list is the alchemist by paul coelho so this book came into my life when i was embarking on a new journey and this is a great book because it helps you understand that everyone has a journey to be on when you have a calling in life that calling was planted by the soul of the earth that calling was planted by the soul of the universe it is your mission on earth and when people ignore your journey they become bitter and vengeful at the people who actually embark on your journey that's why people have hatred for people who are successful because they are miserable that they didn't embark on your journey people are afraid to chase their dreams because they don't think they deserve them or they think they'll be unable to achieve them you'll never actually be able to escape your heart so you're better off listening to what it has to say and this helped me embark on my journey and a difficult journey of being an artist a creator a writer but i know if i was to neglect that calling i would be miserable in life and i don't want that i don't have all the answers i started this youtube channel i don't know how it's going to go i make music i don't know how it's going to go but i'd rather take the risk of embarking on my journey than not embark on my journey and be miserable number three is the power of now by eckhart tolle ask yourself when you're left in a moment where does your mind wander ask yourself your mind usually wanders to the past or to the future our minds are rarely in the present and this book helped me become present and know that i cannot save myself i cannot change tomorrow anything i can do i can do it now anything you want to do you cannot wait for tomorrow to save you only now exists only today exists and this helps me in terms of letting go of burdens letting go of past traumas this lets me be in the present all i have now is the present it actually changed my life in monumental ways it helped me become more peaceful more forgiving more actionable i procrastinate so much less i was gonna say so much more i procrastinate so much less going to the gym picking up my guitar this book helps me anything i want to do if i want to become a youtuber if i want to create if i want to do anything i have to do it now there is no salvation tomorrow anything that was done was done now it wasn't done tomorrow it wasn't done yesterday it was done now he's so good kendrick got him on his album and kendrick hired him as a therapist that's how legit this dude is a very popular book again atomic habits and that was the book that actually made me lose weight that helped me lose 20 kg that helps me go to the gym that helps me start this youtube channel and keep it going now i'm so confident in myself because i know how to build habits now this is more important than money habits and your ability to build and procure good habits when i was setting my goal for this year i didn't write down results i didn't write down make 50k or make 100k or get a million subscribers or get a million followers i wrote down what i can control my systems make videos every week i want to be in the best shape i've ever been in my life but i didn't just write that down i wrote okay what do i need to do go to the gym five times a week eat clean five times a week at least or six times a week go for walks your systems are so important my habits are my cheat code I read 20 to 30 books a year. That's not because I'm special. I did very average in school, very even below average, I would say. I'm a very average person. I didn't play sports, but I'm probably approaching a place that's higher than average because of my systems and because of my desire. These books are magnificent because they actually harmonize so well together to change me in a monumental way. You should be far more concerned with your current trajectory than your current results. Is where you're going leading you down the wrong path or is where you're going leading you down the bad path? As of now, Nothing to the Grave has 100 followers 13 subscribers on youtube but i'm not worried about my results now i only care about my systems are my systems in place are my habits in place what does my current trajectory say and that's how you judge yourself it's how many habits by james clear this book is the reason i was able to be honest with myself to realize i need to learn to realize i need to grow to realize i was not the person i wanted to be to realize i was on the wrong path and that is ego is the enemy by ryan holiday the reason that this is the number one book for me is because i have 
have a huge ego or had a huge ego and I'm, it's something I work on. Ego blinds you from who you are. Only when you take away your ego, you see what's real. This book literally was like a wrecking ball to my life because it broke down all the illusions I had of myself. And now I've built my confidence up with the action, with the books I've read, with the days I put in the gym, with the sweat, with the sacrifice I'm making. Now I don't rely on my ego. I'm reliant on my confidence and the confidence in the fact that I know I keep the promises to myself. If you, your confidence isn't based on things you've done, then what's it based on? It's based on delusion. And that's something that people, I think, suffer with. People sit in their house, I could do this better, like me. I'm on YouTube being like, I'm more creative than him. I'm more interested than him. What I haven't even picked up my camera and recorded one video. That's how people spend their whole lives thinking that they're something they're not, and they never achieve anything. One might say the ability to evaluate one's skills is the most important skill of all. And that's why this book broke all my walls down. Then I was able to read Atomic Habits. I was able to read The Power of Now. I was able to read The Alchemist. I was able to read Think and Grow Rich because I know, okay, I don't know anything. I actually need to learn as a person. I actually need to grow as a person. I need to become smarter. I need to become more disciplined. I need to become more proactive. Face the facts of what you are for that is what changes what you are. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Please comment. Please share. Head to our links. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on TikTok. If it wasn't for these books, this channel would not exist. So that's how you know how powerful these books are. You do not know what these books can awaken in you. Subscribe and take nothing to the grave.